Since 1990, we have spent millions of euros and tens of thousands of research hours to find scientific answers to life's most important and challenging questions. What makes us happy? What makes us healthy? How can we heal from physical and mental disease? How can we heal emotionally and sexually so we can be happy in our relationships? How can we develop our talents and be of value to the world? We have interviewed more than 15,000 people and asked more than 4,000 different questions. After 20 years of intensive research, we are beginning to find the answers we have been looking for for so long. We have already presented these answers in 250 research papers and about 30 books. Now we bring it all up to you. Character medicine means working with a human character to improve health. Uh, it seems that all pre-modern cultures had medical systems that worked with the personality of the patient. Uh, Hippocrates from Old Greece said, I would rather know what patient has a disease that, than what disease a patient has. Meaning, if I am to help you, I need to know you and understand you as a person. Uh, the disease is not as, impo as important as the cause of the disease. And the cause of the disease is your personality, is the way you think, you conceive things, the way you understand your life and yourself, the way you, the way you, you deal with your world and your reality. So you can also say that uh, all these pre-modern medical systems are consciousness-based medicines. They are working with the human consciousness, the human self-insight and understanding. To understand character medicine, we looked at the different medical systems of the pre-modern cultures of the world. We looked at the we looked at the medicine of India and China. We looked at the India the medicine of the Native Americans and of the uh, classical. European medicine, the Hippocratic medicine. And all these different medical systems developed on totally different continents where people most likely had no contact with each other. They came to the same result, and that was that the, 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 the root cause of disease is personality. The true cause of both physical and mental disorders are almost always the way you understand yourself and your and your life, the way you live, uh, the way you you deal with your things in your life. Basically, your consciousness. So you can say that character medicine or pre-modern medicine is consciousness-based medicines. You are working with the consciousness of the patient. Uh, if you are a doctor trying to help. If you are a patient, uh, a, a, a sick person who wants to be healthy, the way out is to follow the guidance you're getting from your shaman or your medicine man, uh, to look into yourself, understand yourself, and get rid of the, the misunderstanding, the imbalance, or uh, very often it is phrased like, your lies, what you are lying about, what you're not truthful about. And the idea is that we are lying to ourselves even, not only to other people in the world. And when we get truthful, when we get um, really honest and deep, then we can see our, our false beliefs. And when we are getting re rid of these uh, false concepts and beliefs, we are suddenly just uh, in our natural healthy state again. This is uh, the the message of of character medicine. So, what is different about the different character medicine systems of the world? Because they seem to be quite different. If you go to America, we have the medicine wheel, which is basically the four corners of the universe, symbolizing uh, some important aspects of life, like uh, 
feeling, strings, uh, order, growth. Uh, depending on, 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 on the tribe, there are different key concepts, which is always uh, kind of intuitively logical. If you go to China, we have yin and yang, the, the female and the masculine that needs to be balanced. If you're going to uh, India, we have the seven chakra systems, which are a much more elaborate system with seven intelligences, seven, seven centers uh, in your body and corresponding to aspects of your mind and spirit that needs to be in balance. But it's, it's still uh, essentially the same. You need to know yourself. You need to embrace all aspects of, of your being. You need to, to live truthfully and, uh, and totally. And when you do that, all kinds of diseases and problems will, will uh, leave you, basically. So it seems that the difference between the different uh, systems of character medicine is the number. Like Hippocrates had the number four, there were four elements. Uh, water, earth, air, and fire. Symbolizing and representing aspects of life that should be in balance. If you uh, went to China, for instance, there was also a, like an element system, but this element system has five, had five elements, which were a little more complex. And we had this, the, the three, the simpler system, the three elements in the Ayurvedic system, um, and if you go to the to the Kabbalah and the Jewish mysticism, the system had ten elements. So, dependent on the 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 number, the cosmology was structured accordingly. According to, you had like a more simple or more complex cosmology and that gave simpler or more complex instructions. But basically it was all, always the same about coming to know yourself, understanding who you are in this world, understanding the, the, how the balance should be between uh, consciousness and reality, between the masculine and the feminine, the, the warm and the cold, the hard and the soft. Uh, how to balance all these things and and, uh, and and live in a natural, relaxed and conscious way in the world. Very often there was a religious element. For instance, uh, in old Greece, the doctors were priest healers. They were not really doctors. They were people who cured people by reconnecting them to the universe, to the gods. And this might seem a little old-fashioned because we do not really believe in all these uh, dozens and dozens of Greek gods that existed in old Greece. But if we take it in an abstract form again, uh, we can see that the 12 Olympic gods were basically aspects of life that ne needs to be taken into accordance, into uh, they, they need to be managed and, 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 and dealt with in a realistic and, and sound way. Uh, so this is basically again about helping a person to understand who he is and, and how to live in this world uh, through an uh, analysis of, of, of character, uh, an analysis of, of life uh, in, in, in aspects. Uh, which can be many of you according to the system. So, the question is, with this knowledge, where we're going with medicine today? Because we obviously need a modern character medicine. We obviously need a modern consciousness-based medicine that understands that healing is about personality work, about getting rid of the problems of personality. And it seems that there's a simple solution, and that is that if you understand personality as all the beliefs you are carrying, all the 
learnings that came from your past and your childhood, then the healthy way is to let go of these beliefs and let go of your past so you can become you know, present and totally alive here now. And this might be the, the subtle point of all these uh, character systems that you cannot really develop your character but you can get rid of it if you realize the truth and understand that what you believe is not true because it was your learning from your past. And as you let go of these learnings you become pure and innocent and uh, with a Buddhist word uh, empty. So this kind of uh, of uh, naive purity, this kind of uh, emptiness of beliefs, this kind of of uh, realizing yourself as as consciousness and and, and not what you believe in uh, might be might be a very important uh, factor in in the future uh, effective medicine. Thank you.